Welcome back, my beautiful friends. Good to see you here. Glad you could join me. So today we're going to be making some shipping container scatter terrain for your tabletop games. Um, these are always fun to look at. They're always uh, interesting. And you know what? I think they're going to be fairly easy to build. So let's get to the video, show you how I did it. All right, everybody. After I cut some blocks out of XPS foam, I moved on to the fun part. And this is box board. It's a little bit thicker than like a cereal box, but uh, I thought I'd try it and I put it through the corrugator and unfortunately I did not like it. It did not show the corrugations as well as I wanted it to. When I turned it to the side, it just did not show up. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try something else because I just did not like the way that looked. And what I did was I got some thick craft paper, ran it through the corrugator, and as you can see there, it turned out much nicer. You can see the corrugations a lot better. So I went to work and I cut a whole bunch of strips of paper, then ran it through the corrugator, and then as you can see, just put a little bit of tacky glue on the foam block, slip those pieces of paper on there, tap it down nice and nice and good to make sure that it sticks. And it would look much better than, uh, like I said, than the other box board that I had. So that basically is what I did for all sides of uh, these blocks, of these containers. Put that paper on, glued it up, and it was good to go. So here I'm just putting some other pieces of paper on the ends where the doors are. I wanted this to be, wanted it to look like paneling on the doors. Like, uh, like the normal ones, like the real ones, the real containers uh, that, you know, have this sort of door on it. So that worked out really well. Put those just a couple of slices of, of paper on there and let that dry and it was good to go. And then what I did was I cut five millimeter strips of the same paper, folded it in half and then glued it to all of the sides of these containers and that went quite well although it took a very long time much longer than i thought it would take but that's okay because it looks good and that five millimeters i think was the perfect size so then i went on to glue on crazy glue some really thin craft wire and this is for the front door for the the latch the locking mechanism the opening mechanism and this again, this turned out better than I expected. Just adding a few pieces, smaller pieces for the handles for these doors. And that was it. Glued it on and they look really good. Then we moved on to the brown paint and Mod Podge. This brown paint put on fairly thin. I wanted it to kind of, uh, kind of show through. So I put it on fairly thin so that the colors of the paper would show through just to get dynamics in the way it looked after it was painted. And uh, it turned out really well. It turned out very blotchy, just exactly how I wanted it. And yeah, I, I like the way it came out. Here you can see it looked a little streaky. It looked, looked like a rough job, like the job wasn't done properly, but that's exactly how I wanted it. So I let that dry and then I moved on to the base. Those pieces of MDF from the dollar store there, cut those up to make bases, put some just normal PVA glue on there. And then the flocking that I had made quite a while ago out of sawdust, sawdust and paint. I put a whole bunch of that on there and I wanted it to look mainly uh, not deserty, but but very sparse life <laughs> kind of look. You know, there's not much vegetation growing here. There's, there's a lot of rock, so that's what I wanted this to look like. And it, it definitely turned out the way I wanted it to look. You know, it's 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 rough soil. You know, not not the nicest looking place to be. So this this is how it turned out, and it and it, it turned out pretty good. So just tapping that down into the glue, making sure it's secure. I wanted this piece to not be very hilly, not have much 
uh, much depth to it because like the say like the container ships or pardon me the containers are going to have you know plenty of, of height on these bases so it really didn't matter to me if these were flat so then moving on just some static grass on those blue dollops and this is just going to give enough greenery to say hey life is trying to survive in this environment so that that turned out pretty good then moved on to the painting of these containers and uh, did four different colors and the painting process went pretty smooth um, looked good again it wasn't a perfect paint job which is I did not want a perfect paint job I wanted it blotchy and you'll see why because it, it all comes together here in the painting in the uh, pardon me the detail painting so first things first I thought I'd get the the bars for the handles out of the way just use some silver paint and put a nice little nice little coating on there and this this was bright to begin with but I knew that after the washes after the rusting effects it would be toned down significantly and it would look like it was metal but in rough shape so that's exactly the way I designed it that's the way I planned it out that's the way it came out so it looked pretty good so there you can see the uh, the silver paint on those bars finishing up this last one here and they look pretty good then a little bit of black paint as you can see just blotching it all over random areas making this look dirty I wanted all these containers to look dirty and used and just blah <laughs> so that's how it came out so after all that was done did a little bit of a dry brush just to get some edges get some depth on the uh the containers and robert's your father's brother so then after that was all ready to go done i just printed out you know my corporate name my corporate logo <laughs> on a paper and glued it onto another piece of uh i think it was i think it was some cereal board cereal box board anyway after cutting out the stencil with my exacto knife i was ready to put it onto the containers and paint my logo on there so here i am using a paintbrush which turned out quite well all i did was dab it onto the side not much paint actually this this really didn't need a whole bunch Just a little bit on the end of the brush and tap a tap a tap -a, and that was it and you can see how well that came out so i was really happy with that and then we moved on to the dirty brown wash and this is where this is where it starts to come together for me anyway all this was just ugly looking just perfect the way i wanted it just perfect streaky and brown and yucky that was awesome i was really happy when i got the brown wash going so after that was done i moved on to the rusting effects and uh well unfortunately i did not video it i moved my camera boom off to the side to get ready to film it get some things organized and yeah i forgot to put the camera back so i apologize for that so anyway after that was all done i glued these things to the bases i made them kind of off center on each other and oh man I, i'm really happy really happy the way it turned out these are going to look great on tabletop gaming. Uh, you know, I'm going to be using these for gas lines. So I think these are going to turn out, or these are going to work out really well. So just hot glue, made sure that they, uh, they were stuck down pretty good. And again, so this one here, I just used the, the same strategy. I just off-centered it, made it look a little bit crooked. And that was it. This project is done. Well, thanks so much for uh, watching the video, guys. I hope you come back for another one. We'll talk to you soon.
Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to take a bit of time here to go over a couple of, go over a couple of things that I've noticed with uh, building this project. First of all, it was really fun. Um, well, there's a couple of things that I think I would do different uh, building these again. Uh, one of them would be the paper. Now I'm gonna have to find a different way to uh, work with this paper here, whether I need to do like a, a thicker um, cereal box um, type of cardboard paper or something because this bubbled up a little bit. Now I tried to kind of hide that with some black paint and uh, extra um, rusting effects on some of those areas. They're not too, too noticeable and I guess what you could say is, you know, hey, these are beat up, you know. Maybe we could go that route. But that's one thing, that's probably the biggest thing that uh, I found was kind of annoying about this. Um, other than that, I definitely am going to use uh, blocks of foam. Like that is just the way to go in my opinion. And uh, I think that's about it for, for the things that kind of annoyed me. Um, definitely one, one thing that I know worked really well is using a paintbrush with the stencil and dabbing the paintbrush through the stencil. The, the words come out absolutely almost perfect, even with the corrugation. So that's definitely the way to go. If you're gonna build uh, this, definitely go with uh, a paintbrush and dab the paint on. I think that's the way to go. And uh, yellow. I think that's my favorite color out of all of these. This one, uh, this one's really, really nice. I like the way this turned out. And I'm really, I gotta apologize again. I don't know what I was thinking when I moved the camera away to start all the rusting effects. That, uh, that was a big oopsie on my part, so. But anyway, here you go. I think they turned out really well. All right, guys, we'll see you later.